What's going on guys, Kelly Gaines back here again with some more nutritional advice. So today we got meet the carnivores, these people want you to eat more meat. So this one is from Vice News, it was just released yesterday, and I said I wanted to do kind of an overview of what this documentary is about. Normally Vice News isn't that great, it's kind of more mainly propaganda a lot of the time, but hopefully they make the carnivore diet look good because I'm fully you know, proponent of that diet. I probably eat under 100 carbs a day, some days I blow it out, I have like two, 300 carbs. But in terms of actual diet, I think eating close to as much carnivore as you can, red meat, chicken, fish, milk, eggs, those kind of things are definitely the healthiest thing for humans to eat. Maybe some blueberries as well sometimes, but you know, if you can just eat purely meat, you know, that's great as well. You know, if you can tolerate some fruit and stuff, you know, go ahead and do it, but I don't think it's that necessary. This one should be absolutely fire, guys. Hit that subscribe button, check out my Patreon as well. I saw Dr. Sean Baker is in that this as well, so shout out to Dr. Sean Baker. I actually did a podcast with Dr. Sean Baker as well. You can just type in County Gains, Dr. Sean Baker interview. Great interview, it was like an hour long, so I can't wait to see this one. Let's get it, guys. The purpose of today is to celebrate life. This is our community getting together to honor and to recognize the life-giving force and the sacrifices of the animals that nourish our community and our body. We're gonna be shooting a, a 210 grain, uh, 30 out six, boat tip hollow point burger. Um, so we'll just pass that around so everybody can kind of see. This is gonna be the bullet too, right? So put your good energy into that. Yeah. I want you to be fully present. Like, please don't hide behind your camera. Please don't film the death itself. This is the most American thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm here at Rome Ranch in Fredericksburg, Texas, which is a destination for people who are part of the carnivore lifestyle. And we're about to harvest the bison and butcher it together. Bison's the best meat I've ever had in my life, guys. It's just unbelievable. That's a bit of an easy, an easy shot. So now the herd's gonna kind of come up and kind of say their goodbyes. So, you guys get a chance to yeah, if any of y'all want to taste this blood, this would be the time to do it. What is it? Really, it's way lighter than you think. So they're tasting the blood. Okay, so what a lot of times Vice News does is they try to give the extreme aspects of the diet. You know, there's nowhere in the kind of our diet that says to eat blood, guys. You know, that's not really a proponent. I personally. Don't do that. That's not really a thing, but. Yeah, it tastes like um, like a nosebleed. They're gonna move it back to that house where we started today so that they can cut it up into pieces that we can eat. <laughs> this is what's supposed to happen, kiddo. Events like these happen a few times a year here. They introduce people to a new way of eating meat by consuming the whole animal and making it a centerpiece of your diet. You know, we try to eat from our land and we try to eat regionally. And so 90 plus percent of our calories are animal based. So eggs. Yeah, I mean, that's the healthiest thing guys, to have it your own farm raised and stuff like that is very healthy. Butter, milk, and then of course, lots of meat. What kind of people do you think your message is resonating with? We have people come out here from all walks of life, but the most common threads are people that have some kind of health or nutrition journey, for sure. And then the other common visitor that we have, it's someone who just wants to have that connection point to land, to animals, to community. I believe that as we keep going, people will, will discover that meat um, actually makes people healthier. And I think you can just find that by, you know, eat some good meat and you generally feel better, but go eat a bunch of donuts and tell me how you feel. That's super true, guys. You know, eating high carbs is not great when it comes from sugary products. You know, it's terrible. No one thinks donuts are good for you. Nobody thinks donuts <laughs> Nobody's are Nobody's making for you. that argument. No, yeah. Nobody does. But I'm saying that you have a craving for both, right? That, that's kind of my argument. Like, I don't have a craving for kale. And so the question is, like, when do you listen to what your body is telling you? So Josh is going to open up the abdominal cavity, and that'll be the opportunity where we can kind of connect with the organs and get a chance to eat some raw liver, some raw heart, maybe some bile. <gasps> All right. Oh. She was shocked as hell. Yeah. So I've been eating a lot of raw organs lately because they're full of nutrients, vitamins. I'm trying to get pregnant, okay? Most people hear about the carnivore diet from influencers online, through podcasts or social media videos. So I've been on a carnivore diet. I'll tell you about that. 
Yeah, that's like a healthier keto, right? Or a better way to do it. I don't know. It's just all meat. Just everything's meat. I eat beef and salt and water. That's it. And I never cheat. Ever. Proponents claim the diet cures a grab bag of illnesses, from IBS to depression to infertility. I mean, it definitely cures IBS, guys. If you have just the one source of food coming into your stomach and there's no other outside things, there's no, like, crazy amounts of, you know, high carbs or high fructose corn syrup, but all those other types of ingredients, then it's definitely better, right? There's not a lot of evidence to support that. In fact, a large body of research links red meat consumption to heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and colon cancer. Like I said, man, Vice News always try to just make it just sound horrendous. So if you guys follow Dr. Sean Baker, all these actual doctors who do loads of research for the British Medical Journal and loads of these journals, the American one as well, uh, the American Journal, medical journals, then they also show that there's loads of evidence to prove that eating just meat is amazing for you, so. And livestock is bad for the planet too. It's responsible for 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. But for the hardcore in the carnivore lifestyle, expert opinion doesn't matter. In fact, rebelling against the mainstream is the point. Carnivorism has become a new front in online culture wars. The vegans, it's like talking to a cow. You know, they, they just, there's nothing you can say that'll change their mind because they're mindless drones. Sean Baker is the guy who coined the term carnivore diet. I cook a lot of steaks. I've literally, without exaggeration, I've probably had seven or 8,000 steaks in the last six years. <laughs> I'm so serious. Funny. I'm serious. I mean, like, hell? like back in the day, there was there was accounts of like Mongolians where they would literally slaughter a sheep and eat the whole thing within 24 hours. Like one or two guys, just, oh. and then they wouldn't eat for a week, though. I mean, that, that's what they did. They would feast. A world record holding athlete for indoor rowing and an orthopedic surgeon by training, Baker is now a full time lifestyle coach, promoting the notion that carnivorism can cure diseases. That is remarkable. We've had this. 50 years of people telling people don't eat meat, it's bad for you. Instead, so what do they eat instead? Well, they're hungry all the time, so they turn to this ultra processed, high energy junk food, and everybody's fat. Everybody's got, you know. I fundamentally believe that a lot of the um, problems with our population health have to, has to do with nutrition. I That's think. facts. I think it's all to do with nutrition. You know, honestly, guys, as a personal trainer, online coach, you can check out my online coaching. You know, a lot of people always want to tell me what their training is, you know, and although people do actually fail at the training, the training is the easy part, you know, your sleep and nutrition, that's actually the hard part. Every single person goes to the gym and train. If you guys go to the gym and train, you see loads of people in the gym, but are they getting results? Are they actually healthy? You know, it's about your nutrition and your sleep. Those are the two most important things. If you don't have those on point, there's no point in my opinion of even training, you know, honestly, the training does nothing, guys, you know. Uh, as we look at our quote unquote standard American diet, it is, you know, 60% ultra processed food. I think that's doing grave harm. You've talked about something that I think you call the vegan agenda, right? Uh, yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. What's the vegan agenda? I, I'm fully supportive of people being vegan if they want to be. Now, what I don't support is when they call me a murderer, when they call me an animal abuser, when they call me a rapist because I choose to eat the same food that humans have been eating for arguably three million years. I mean, it doesn't make sense. When they when they are trying to limit my access to food that makes me healthy, I'm not happy about that. They're taking away my meat seems to be like a rallying cry. Well, and I mean, I mean, I mean, I think with legitimate concern. I mean, there's definitely you, you have to be living under a rock to see that there's always meat or because we need to cut back on meat. And it's just like maybe there's some level for concern here. I have trouble with that argument that they're forcing us to stop eating meat because it just seems like that really hasn't happened. Like most right. Americans eat a ton of meat still. Well, I mean, there are certainly people out there that have expressly made the claim that that's what they want to do. So that agenda does exist. Now, will it ever gain traction? Will it ever convince enough people to where it'll actually happen? Who knows? But I think if you don't at least say, hey, this is a problem, we should be opposed to that, then, you know, then those agendas will all pass. What do you think the reason is that a certain type of guy, like interested in traditional masculinity and maybe oh, a dude, primal stop. lifestyle, like why is he attracted to the carnivore diet? I mean, there is something, you know, viscerally and primitively satisfying about eating meat. I mean, it really is. What the f Yo, Liver King, I love your stallion. What do you do for a living? I eat liver because liver is king. Eat liver for more drive, more determination to kick ass in life or else you are some primal. Oh my gosh. Perhaps the most famous meat influencer is Liver King. 
He's built a brand posting videos about how eating raw organs is the key to what he calls ancestral masculinity. I believe that men are purpose built for physical strength, to fight, to provide, and to protect. Yeah, so we all know that this guy, it comes out, this is the video where he's, he was taking steroids, guys. He was on the sauce, heavy, right, to achieve his physique. And, you know, he was basically trying to sell supplements to people. I mean, it's the oldest, it's the oldest trick in the book, you know, sell supplements to kids and college people and young people who don't really have experience in training with nutrition and say, hey, if you eat this, if you eat my product, you will get jacked and in shape and stuff like that. That's the oldest trick in the book. And he basically just run that ploy for the last two years. I think he was making $100 million a year off it. So, you know, that's not necessarily reflective of the kind of our diet, guys. Just keep that in mind. Primals. I'm making this video to apologize. <laughs> but it turns out Liver King wasn't all natural. No shit, like. Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. In December, guys, here's the thing, actually, just to give you guys some motivation. That guy, like, he's pretty small, man. He's like 190 pounds, I think, at five foot seven. That's like a small dude. 190 pounds at five foot seven is pretty small. I know people that are 260 pounds that are way more shredded and then are natural, like straight up natural. So definitely don't think that you can achieve a physique like that just because he's on the sauce. He, you know, his genetics are probably just, they're probably just not that great, right? Or he's just not doing something right. He's probably not sleeping well or whatever, but he's taking the steroids to make up for the fact, right? This is the facts, guys. I know people that have way better physiques than him, you know, and that are natural, so. Burger King was exposed in leaked emails for using steroids and apologized to his followers in a YouTube video. But the whole eat meat to be a strong man persona still has a big draw. Can you guess what Liver King is having for dinner today? I got liver. And can you guess how much time I'm gonna beat you by in our liver eating challenge, Liver King? Holly Long is a meat influencer who got into the hobby after watching Liver King. Well, guys, I found paradise. <laughs> I'm back in the cooler right now. All right, so my meanie found all the good stuff right here. We got brains. Veal heart. <laughs> heart and brain. Oh, my and, uh, God. And veal brains, here you go. Is there a, yeah, testicles or? Find brains in there? Yeah, I have one, okay. yeah. All I got right, the that, brain. That's all we have. No, but no testicles, right? Uh, I don't think so. Those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> they, they call me the, on social media, they call me the testicle king. <laughs> uh, oh, really? Yeah, because I, I do the raw testicles all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Long lives in Bali right, with his you. wife and kid but he still visits his parents back home in Pennsylvania. With Zapier, instead of doing the same- I've never heard of this guy, just by the way, I've never, I've heard of Sean Baker and the rest of them, obviously, but I haven't heard of this guy before. A lot of nuts, and this is by far- You have best. 200 videos of I have over, over 200 videos, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of testicles. All right, I get asked Why testicles? Because testicles. you can have like different areas of focus as a meat influencer, but you've picked this one. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of didn't pick it. It picked me. <laughs> the testicles chose me. Now, uh, I tried them at first for troll, entertainment, bro. just because um, that's the kind of person I am. Like, yeah, why not? Let's try it, right? Um, and then I put it on social media for shock value, and then it became a consistency, and now I enjoy them. I enjoy them a lot. I definitely feel a difference when I eat them. What is the connection between the carnivore diet and masculinity? I mean, look at the world that we're in. It's a mess. It's a disaster. The, the, the elites who run the world are trying to emasculate men. The L LGBT, whatever it's called, community is just making its biggest push ever. And they're trying to turn everyone gay. They're trying to make everyone weak. They're trying to... Just everything Let's about the way the world is ran right now is trying to trying to weaken men and trying to make women masculine. If they're trying to switch the roles and that's what causes chaos. Are you saying that the same people who are encouraging plant based diets are trying to emasculate men like that's the connection? Um, in certain scenarios, yeah, not everyone. They, they want us weak, they want us smaller, they, they want us they want to control us. They feed us the, big, the wrong food to make us sick. And then we need them for medicine, big pharma, right? And how do they, how do they, how do they manipulate us? Big propaganda, the media, the news, right? And so it's a full circle business. So you think there's been like a widespread coordinated effort to spread misinformation about how meat's actually bad <laughs> for you when it actually it's good for you? Welcome to earth. 
Yeah, just like everything else. <laughs> Honestly, I was a little bit weirded out about we're all testicle, but it is a crowd pleaser. What I feel you? like you can't miss on the testicle. Okay, okay. Yeah. all right. It's what, really delicious. So what is and there's it? more uh, coming testicle. out. Oh, I like it. It's good. Yeah. This sounds nice. nice. That's a testicle. Catch more? He'll definitely jazz it up. But the unique experience of eating like this is pretty good. There's a lot of extreme people who are associated with the carnivore movement. What do you think of kind of the image of the movement? Honestly, we're, we're kind of just doing our own thing. And on the periphery, like we don't really look up to those icons. We're kind of like just focusing on what we love and that's animals and land and celebrating that. And if we can bring more people into this system, that's a win for us. Check that out. It's like a Simone's life. She blew them up. That's nuts. We used to do that in school, guys. We did that both like sheep's lungs. I'm Michael Learmonth, Editor-in-Chief of Vice News. Too often... Yeah, kind of cool, guys. You know, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I definitely think that... I don't know if it's a... If it's a LGBT problem, but... I definitely know that in, like, poor places in the world, they always put, you know, these, like, cheap places... You know, cheap restaurants like McDonald's and Burger King. And they have things like fry, you know, the, the chips and stuff that make people sick. And all the oils, you know, that they don't replace. The carcinogenic oils... You know, so that's definitely a problem, and they always make the foods a lot cheaper than the healthy food. The healthy food is always going to stay a lot more expensive than the, than the bad food, and that definitely is not good. You know what I mean? And you know, people talk about these different problems, but you know, it's definitely it's definitely a uh, issue when it comes to you know the, the amount that you have to pay for the food, because then only you know the, the kind of people with more money can pay for the better food. But tell me in the comments down below what you guys think. I love you guys all. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.